Yeah, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. Uh, today we're going to be attaching this .150 flex cable to this stub shaft. This is a 3 16 step down to an eighth uh, prop shaft. Um, I'm going to be using JB Weld. All right, I've been using JB Weld to attach my stub shafts to the flex cables for about six months now. I've run my mini delta force the mini uh 23 sniper with a jb welded flex cable i've run my blackjack 24 with the same method all right running on 6s i've done speed runs i've bashed the boat with big props it hadn't let me down yet so uh, i'll show you guys how i do it all right I, I i've also showed how to do the soldered method method and um i've actually had better luck with this method it's easier it's cheaper hassle free and um it works it works so so yeah stick around stick around don't blink don't blink big b here with ironclad rc don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel now let's get started like i said i'm going to attach this stub shaft um, basically all you need is some JB Weld. Don't use the cheap stuff, okay? I've actually used this my first time and it let me down, alright? So don't use like Harbor Freight epoxy type uh, welder, alright? You gotta use JB Weld. Steel Weld, alright? This, it works. It works. Trust me. The, the biggest part is prepping it up, alright? Got some sandpaper. I'm gonna use this as like a 80 coarse. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the 80 on my on my flex cable. I'm gonna just rough it up real good. Go go this way and then go the opposite way. Okay. Um, if you want to use a file, files work really good. I've got this really coarse file right here. It's like a bastard file, very coarse. Just want to rough it up real nice, you know. All right, gets you some little indentions in there so that the, the the jb weld will set down in in it you know uh, see that little nick i put in there do it a couple of them on the other side all right uh, we're going to basically kind of do the same thing with the prop shaft uh, i showed you guys the the part number these are only four dollars and 95 cents all right so what you do um offshore electrics like i like i said you can order a, an un attached cable set when you do that if you if you got if you're using short cables go ahead and order you a couple more shafts uh stubs and you can make three cables for the price of one uh attached cable all right save you some money so we've got this one right here we've got it all roughed up all right now the stub shaft all right it's basically just a hole your shaft all right and it, and it just kind of goes goes in there like so you know, pretty simple, pretty simple. So what I like to do with my stub shaft, I've got a, a little small like hobby file, all right. Um, and I and I I mean I don't really file it out bigger. I just I'm really just scraping, like scarring up the inside, all right. You hear that? Like I'm scarring it up. Usually I have a little bit of metal. Yeah, see the metal on the end of my file? See where I'm scarring it up? That's just so the epoxy sets and grabs. All right, just push it in real hard. Just do it a few times. You, you know, you could, I wouldn't really waller it out. Just kind of rough it up in there. Don't try to make the hole bigger or nothing. All right, so that's it. All right, make sure all the debris out of there. Make sure you, it fits. Okay, it does. All right, so now you want to get you some, I use rubbing alcohol or like mineral spirits just to clean up the the flex cable this flex cable's never been used um so it shouldn't have any grease on it but um you know if you're using a, a used flex cable soak it in mineral spirits catch it on fire <laughs> soak it light it up catch it on fire burn that grease off whatever you gotta do to get, make sure there's no grease on it all right You know, what I usually just do with the with the stub shaft, I'll just kind of roll up a piece like this and uh, and just stick it in the stub shaft. Just make sure it's got I got mineral spirits on there. Just make sure it's 
it's clean of debris, you know, make and then let it dry for a minute. Mineral spirits or acetone, it, it dries rather quickly, you know. I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit. Burn off the extra, the excess stuff. Make sure she's good and dry, not hot when you put the JB Weld on. Alright. Got a mess up here already. That's the steel. Mix it up, like you know, just follow the directions 50 50 mix. I use more steel than hardener, it just um, takes longer to set up, but it seems like to me it's a little stronger. All right, now you just take and put your JB Weld in your shaft. All right, it's gonna be uh, you know, when you go to push this in there, it's gonna want to like not push in all the way and seat all the way. Uh, because you're filling this up with JB well so that so of course you're gonna have like an air bubble in there when you go to push your your flex cable in so you're gonna have to work it I usually work it in my cable you know I'll, I'll take like a little pick tool and just waller it around real good make sure it's everywhere in there all right you don't really want to get it on the sides or nothing now I'll, I'll kind of smear some on my flex cable just so I know it's all in those little grooves okay yeah this is the easiest way to do it man if you have a cable that comes apart just make sure you get all the grease off and uh it's it's easy it's easy you ain't got to worry about torches getting the right flux getting the right um, soldering wire this is the simplest and easiest method to do okay all right now you just uh push it in your see so watch it's gonna want to push itself back out see that it wants to push itself back out so you're gonna have to spin it okay spin it on there might have to wipe some off if you got a bunch of it on there like i do See how it's wanting to push itself back out? The trick is to make sure you get that air bubble out of there. It might take you a few minutes. Yep. See that? Pull it out. 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 So I got my air bubble out. See how it's not wanting to push back out? You see that? See how I push it in? It's not wanting to push itself back off. So now, once you once you get it to where it's not pushing itself off the shaft, that means you got a solid seat in there. There's no air bubbles. All right, make sure you wipe your shaft down, and you're done. Lightly clamp it, not hard at all, so you don't mess up your cable. Okay. Um, and that and that rubber band will kind of hold it just to make sure it don't push itself off you know i mean you don't even have to do that as long as you get that air bubble out it's fine you just set it on a flat flat surface that's all i'm going to do just set it on a flat surface and let it dry okay that's ready to roll all right see that tomorrow around the same time give it a full 24 hours to cure boom done <laughs> solderless that's how you attach a flex cable to your your stub shaft all right just the, the 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 key is just to make sure that air bubble is out of there so that you get a good seat you got to twist it and move it pull it in and out until you get the air bubble out once that air bubble out is out it won't push itself off the cable and uh boom you're done you know no no soldering no welding uh simple and it will take up to 6s um light boats smaller props i trust it to run a big prop with a heavy boat but i'm just telling you guys light boats smaller props just to save my ass so you guys aren't um <laughs> oh big b i did this blah 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 and it didn't work i'm telling you it works trust me it works i, I would rather do it this way than solder the cable onto the onto the 
uh, flex because there, there's so many variables that can go wrong soldering these two things on and if you get it wrong you're gonna lose a prop drive dog and everything so it works trust me it works i hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned something we'll see you guys next time hopefully i'll be feeling a little better <laughs>